George Washington, Teddy Roosevelt, the Statue of Liberty, New York Yankees, LA Lakers, Disneyland, burgers and fries, watered down beer, football, football, football. What do all these things have in common? They're all definitely very American. What's the one thing that's missing from that list? That's a pickup truck, of course. Did you know the top three selling vehicles in the USA in 2020? In third place, we got the Dodge Ram. In second place, we got the Chevy Silverado. And the number one selling vehicle in the United States for 2020 is the Ford F-Series. I don't know if you noticed, but they're all trucks. Americans love trucks like they love football, and that's a lot. Pickup trucks, just like the people who buy them here in the good old USA, have been getting bigger and fancier. With customers wanting more and more luxury, interior cabin space for modern pickup trucks have ballooned to gargantuan proportions. Sacrificing bed space as a result, new full-size pickup trucks struggle to fit the same amount of loads as they used to. Just imagine how much fuel it takes to move one of these plush road legal tanks to the grocery store and back. I would only assume that owning one of these V8-powered behemoths for your primary form of transportation would be very financially draining. Not to mention the environmental impact that one of these Tonka trucks will have throughout their lifespan. Despite all of these drawbacks, we still love our big-ass trucks here in the USA. We want them big and manly, dang it! The size of our trucks directly relates to the size of our f***s! So let me ask you, America. Are you ready for the next 8-foot bed truck made in the USA? Are you man enough for the canoe electric pickup truck? Canoe is a Southern California-based EV startup company with a lot of big ideas, one of which is their very interesting pickup truck concept. The Canoe truck is a concept truck with the size of a small pickup, but with the payload of a full size. It looks to be completely modular and customizable. It's based on the flattest EV skateboard platform ever made. It's a quite unique design that gets rid of 30 to 40% of all parts used in most vehicles. It uses completely steer and brake by wire systems. That means no physical connections, only electronic ones. It'll have the first promised completely steer by wire system. Since it's electronic, drivers can dial in their own settings for the steering. The steering wheel can also be placed anywhere inside the car. This gets rid of a bulky steering column to free up space in the cabin. This system is not road legal yet though. It has a really interesting suspension system that uses composite leaf springs in a double wishbone geometry. They use this system to keep the skateboard as low as possible to maximize interior space. This actually reminds me of the rear suspension system found in the C7 Corvette. High-tech leaf springs. The interior is very modular, allowing users to shape the truck according to their lifestyles slash budgets. Without a physical steering rack, the dashboard doubles as storage. There will be different options for screens and infotainment. With larger infotainment screens available, down to minimal offering, relying mostly on your phone. There will be different options for seating as well. Having options like bucket seats versus bench seats. The exterior has some pretty ingenious features as well. There's a front trunk that folds down into a work table slash desk. It has an LED light strip for you to work with. There are also AC and USB outlets to power and charge whatever you want. There are pull-out side steps on each side that double as utility boxes. There are flip-down side tables on each side of the bed. One of the coolest features is that the truck bed can extend from 6 feet to 8 feet, complete with an extension tailgate and brake lights. It also has a roll-down back window. There are what looks like four AC outlets on the truck bed. There is a modular roof rack that has an area of 18 square feet. Canoe says that the battery pack will have 80 kilowatts, giving you a range of around 200 miles. The battery pack is also designed to be replaceable. There will be options for a single motor or dual motor configurations. According to Canoe, each motor will be producing around 300 HPs and 300 pounds of torque. Oh, take a V8 engine. You know, it's 600 plus pounds. This thing is sub 200. 
It's got 300 horsepower, nearly 300 pounds of torque, and I can put two of them in there. Each motor weighs less than 200 pounds. There have been no official performance specs released, but judging from their test videos, this thing promises to be pretty fun to drive with at least 300 horsepower and low center of gravity. I think this concept truck looks really cool. I think it looks very futuristic and just plain fun. In my opinion, it's definitely desirable. I really like how the design is really flexible and utilitarian. I mean, the airbag is enclosed in a clear plastic container where you can actually read the barcode of the airbag. If this thing ever makes it into production, I think it would make a great truck, no doubt. As a filmmaker, this truck would be perfect for me while filming in the field. I'd be able to fill the truck up with all the gear. I'd be able to charge up all the cameras. I'd be able to plug in the film lights. And at the end of filming, I'd be able to edit the video in the desk in the front. Making this video, what I'm realizing for the most part, most of the time people have to adapt their lifestyle to whatever vehicle they have. This canoe truck seems like it would rather adapt to your lifestyle than the other way around. But what do I know? Let me know in the comments if you would consider buying this truck. And if so, what color would you get? Or do you think this truck is not nearly as manly as it needs to be to be sold in good old America? Let me know in the comments. Give me a like and subscribe. Peace.